Hello, I'm Andrew Souter. I'm the Chief Exec of Cuerden Valley Park Trust and we are just about to start the construction of a brand new path through the park. Um, it's been supported by Lancashire County Council with some funding, uh, Lancashire Environment Fund with some funding and also the local parish council. But what it will allow us to do is create a new accessibility footpath that will run from the visitor centre where we're sat down to a new bridge that's going to cross the River Lostock and join with the new, new upgrades to the cycle path. Um, and take people through the park. The park's about 650 acres and we have a lot of local residents that will come and walk here literally every day. Lots of people come and run through the park and cycle through the park. Um, but we also have people coming from further afield to enjoy the cafe, uh, which is where we're sat now. One of the challenges we have is that the park broadly follows the line of the River Lostock as it runs through the valley. And being a river valley, that means the sides of the park are quite steep um, as they descend towards the river. Unfortunately, that means for accessibility purposes, some of the paths are a little bit difficult uh, for people with mobility needs. So addressing that has long been an, an ambition of the trustees. Uh, and thanks to this current project, we're about to create a, a brand new route which will give um, people a much easier route down into the valley and allow them to experience the park um, in, a, in a much more inclusive way. My name's Tony, I work for Lancashire County Council and I work in the Rights Away team. And uh, I'm down at Cureland today and we, uh, we're having a look, at, it's about the halfway point through this project. So one of the reasons that Lancashire County Council is really keen to support projects like this is we, we want to see more people out enjoying the countryside, um, getting out, getting a bit of exercise. Uh, during the lockdown, a lot of people went out and started exploring their local area. I'm really keen that people carry on with that. There were some great benefits for people getting out and, uh, and getting more active. One of the, uh, the things that will do, it will mean that people walking through the park have got a nice easy way up to use the cafe uh, and the toilets, um, which is, is really great because that's something that um, people often worry about when they go out, and, out into the countryside. It's quite a steep hill we're coming up, but we're working really hard to get the gradients right so that uh, it's not too, too difficult to walk on the way up. And we're putting some resting points in as well to make it nice and easy for people and then carry on your journey up and uh, there'll be a nice cup of coffee or a piece of cake waiting for you at the top. So.
we're then hopefully going to create a new accessibility trail that runs through some wider areas within the park and as part of that again with some support from Lancashire County Council we are going to be able to offer the use of two tramper vehicles for people with accessibility needs. They can come in, hire them from us um, and follow a marked trail through the park and hopefully get to experience some of what is um, a wonderful area of countryside. Uh, we'll have a little launch event um, and hopefully that will inspire a few more people to come and visit us. If you haven't been to the park before, please do come down. We have lots of beautiful woodland, lakes, reservoirs. There's wildlife everywhere. It's a real day out for people. The food in the cafe is fantastic. Um, and if you have been before, do come back and have a look at some of the wonderful things we're about to start delivering. Thank you.